Pikachu, you here, Reiki, yay, Gene. Welcome back to another GTA 5 Carby Car episode. And of course, due to high springing out new vehicles, you guys have been demanding the comparison. So be sure to let me know in the comments below of this episode what you guys want to see next. So, starting off here, we've got the Kareen Karuma normal version coming at 95,000 in purple, going against the armored version in orange, coming near enough five times more expensive at 525k. So, taking that into consideration, at first, when I did the car showcases, I thought these were exactly the same, but I was completely wrong. After thoroughly testing these two, uh, there were quite a few differences that were quite evidently shown. At first, I was slightly confused, but then it sort of made sense. It was quite logical, and I was not expecting Rockstar to go with its approach, but I was quite surprised. Uh, the armored version actually ended up being slightly more heavier than the uh, normal version, and it made sense because, obviously, of the armor protecting the... Uh, car itself adding the extra weight due to that the car now obviously understands more than normal version and it's got a reduced turning circle so when you go entering the corner and exiting corner you're actually doing that slower than the normal version uh you know this one actually maneuvers much better the normal version of course so uh it's quite interesting it's quite interesting i was quite curious now to see which one had a better acceleration and top speed so with that being said the armored version actually has better acceleration over the uh, normal one that's because the normal one actually has more rear spins whereas the armored version has no rear spins whatsoever not sure exactly what the cause for that is maybe the weight is pushing on the uh, pushing on the tires but i don't know if that's logical or not but there really isn't currently no explanation to that personally from me but it's, it's interesting really maybe to do with traction i don't know but shoots out definitely however the normal version here you can see got better top speed of the armored version so this is going to be definitely interesting for lap times as well considering that the armored version actually has better acceleration with no rear spins so uh, we'll see how that is obviously it's obviously coming a comparison from a standpoint and standstill but when approaching the corner it's going to be a complete different perspective so also remember between these two they have a quite a weird driving style because all wheel drive so you know they have the tendency to oversteer at some point as well if you're approaching the corner and breaking late and trying to exit and trying to undercut the corner as well you will get a little bit of oversteer and if you do oversteer with the armored version you obviously have to face more of a consequence than the normal version because of the recovery rate on it is much slower than the normal one because of the weight so there's a lot of things to pay attention to man there's quite a few interesting points between the two but uh, 95 dollars to repair the armored version of course uh, makes sense in 285 for the normal one because of the extra armor given for the armored one. Now modifications actually, uh, the armored one actually has 17 in total, whereas uh, the normal one, because of its, I uh, suppose you could say, a roll cage, actually has uh, 18, so one extra. It's gonna be three, three overall. But like I said, these two cars actually tend to understeer a lot, but the uh, thing about is that the normal version actually got a better turning circles, so the maneuverability is there over the armored one where you're extremely restricted. So you're gonna get that heavy understeer, so you're having to brake harder. So you're essentially losing time, I guess, uh, with the approach and exit, like I mentioned. So here, here is the lap time, I guess, on the top left, as I said, purple is the normal one. And the bottom right is the uh, armored one. So remember, the acceleration of course uh, greater on armored one and the uh, handling is much greater on the uh, normal one so so here's the thing you know uh, at the end of the day quite sort of briefly stating that uh, the armored version is quite restricting in racing you know uh, choosing the racing line of course uh, is only one specific break point to follow and of course you can't really take risks because it's, it's quite clear that you're gonna have make a lot of mistakes if you screw that racing line up with the braking point and having to deal with that heavy understeer because of the weight whereas of course on the other hand the normal version provided by its immense great uh, you know turning circle of the armored one you can take more risks and it's, it's quite comfortable to control uh, the uh, risky racing lines that you take to carry the speed and of course uh, at the end of the day it's, it's more easier to use as well and uh, obviously comfort is key as well in racing and it's quite evident and quite clear now which one you'd want to choose for racing but it's interesting because given the price you know it's quite cheap if you want to use the normal one and obviously as you can see now it's quite, quite clearly you're going to smash the armor one with the lap time overall it's going to take it as well so you know armored one considering it's five times more expensive you know the only real reason why you buy it is for free roaming i guess to I suppose reduce the chances of getting killed although you can still get killed through the slits uh, in the gaps provided by the armored version you know there's, there's still a chance of dying which i've clearly sort of shown in the korean rebel technical showcase so you know 
it's interesting, you know. Let me know what you guys think, you know. Of course, the normal version is definitely better for racing. One and a half seconds quicker than average on that particular track anyway. Remember, I've thoroughly tested both, and it does make sense. You can try it out for yourself if you want. You can definitely tell the difference. You know, just go in a straight line and turn left, right, left, right, high speed. You can tell it's much easier to maneuver with the normal one over the armored one. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys find it useful. And I'll see you guys next time. Of course, subscribe for more GTA 5 content comparisons for GTA 5 cars and new cars coming up for DLCs. Check your sign out. Good night, peace. Yeah. Oh, if you guys missed out the previous episode, check out LG RH8 versus the Jester Race car. It's on the screen. I know it's pretty old, but it's the previous episode. So, we've delayed the series till now. Obviously, high spring out of the new vehicles and whatnot. But, yeah, I'll see you guys there anyway.